So in this example, basically, um, whenever you guys are working with, for the rest of all these problems, for all of these problems, the first thing you guys are going to be doing is simplify. And you guys can see that I have four expressions that I can simplify by factoring. So we're going to practice factoring, factoring, factoring. I will say that I will do a lot of my stuff out loud. Um, the main important thing, guys, I would do here is factor out the GCF, which is 3. So I'd be left with x squared plus 2x plus 1. Um, yep. Um, I'm going to get to the operation, though, yet. Uh, this is from the, uh, yep. Oh, it's x squared? Yeah. Thank you. And then I'll factor out a 12. OK. Now, when we are dividing, this is really the exact same thing what, we did last, what I did last example. You have a fraction divided by another fraction. So in reality, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of your divisor. It's the exact same thing. It's just written in a different formation. OK. But as I do that, I'm also going to factor each form. Or do you guys want me to write that out so you can see it? Yeah. All right. Really, in reality, it's 3x squared. Oops, I'm sorry. 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 3x minus 10 times x squared minus 4 over 12 times x squared minus 1. You multiply by the reciprocal. Dividing is basically the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. I just did an example of it. Same thing. It was in a different look, though. Now we factor each of these as much as we can. x squared plus 2x plus 1. What two numbers multiply to give you 1? Add to give you 2x. x plus 1 times x plus 1. I'm going to, instead of writing it squared, I'm going to leave it factored out. Uh, the denominator, x squared minus 3x minus 10. What two numbers multiply to give you negative 10? Add to give you negative 3. All right, we're trying to get these done. Remember these quickly. x squared minus 4, that is a difference of two squares. You have a squared term minus another squared term. Difference of two squares would be x minus 2 times x plus 2. And then over here, x squared minus 1, again, that's a difference of two squares. Um, x squared is a squared term, and negative 1 is a squared term. So I have 12 x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now, do you guys agree with me that each of these quantities are all separated by multiplication? Yes? So now, all I simply need to do is just to use the division property to divide out terms that are the same. And that looks like that. not much, huh? <laughs> and then the 3 over the 12 can reduce to 1 fourth. That's it. So therefore, my final answer is going to be x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. Yes, did I miss one? Yes. X, two, x plus 2 is a cash, but yeah, it's not x plus 3. Oh, it's 2. Thank you. Cool. I was wondering. I thought there might have been one more. I just didn't. I was thinking of numbers incorrectly. OK, and that's going to be over 4 x minus 5 x minus 1, right? Yep. Now, I am OK with you guys leaving your answer in this format, as long as you understand that uh, another way to write this would be to have to multiply your binomials and expand it, right? I am OK with you leaving your answer like this because it's just more work to expand these. It's not hard, but it's just more work. But what's, what's nice about this format anyways? We have already talked about this. It's really easy to determine the asymptotes, right, in this format? Because you already know, using zero product property, x cannot equal 5 and x cannot equal 1, right? So it's nice already having it factored out. Um, however, talking about the horizontal asymptote, though, we, want, we would see that the degrees are the same. Um, but unless you guys see a test, your test answer might look like this. Right? What I did was I just applied FOIL in my head and wrote it out there. You might have a test answer that looks like this. So as long as you guys know how to go from here to here, I'm OK with you leaving your answers like this. Does that make sense? Just make sure you guys know how to go from there, which is just FOIL. So you should. All right.